Hey, what's going on there, everyone? It is TechWares. Today is January 12th, 2025. The alleged AMD Radeon RX 90 series or 9070 XT performance in Cyberpunk 2077, also in Black Myth Wukong, has been leaked. Now, of course, treat this as a rumor. So, a chip held reviewer has shared the Radeon RX 9070 XT performance in some games, just two games. And this, these performance um, benchmarks could be based on the newer driver. So, newest driver for the 9070 uh, XT. Of course, they're reviewers, so they did get their hands on newest driver that is not available to the public yet. So, Chip Hill appears to be at the forefront of the new R uh, Radeon RX 9070 leaks. The site has shared and later removed several leaks in the past, particularly those originating from posts by Napoleon, who is a poster on Chip Hill. Uh, the site's editor and reviewer looks like they are not done yet. The reviewer is now sharing two benchmarks, Cyberpunk 2077 and Black Myth Wukong. Both games are considered NVIDIA optimized, with Cyberpunk 2077 often regarded as a graphics technology demo for NVIDIA. That's actually funny that they say that. This game was even showcased at CES 2025 in, to demonstrate DLSS for technology. The alleged uh, Radeon RX 9070 XT, or XXXXXT as described in the posts, reportedly trades blows with the RTX 4070 Ti Super in these games. The card appears to deliver strong performance across all three tested resolutions, 4K, 2K, and 1080p. To better, to better understand the leak, we created a chart. Thank you, video cards, for creating these amazing charts always, uh, illustrating the performance in the mentioned games. Unfortunately, we lack further de details as the thread has already been removed. However, we managed to find screenshots of the leak. Unofficially, the Radeon RX 9070 series is expected to be announced this month. I think it may be two weeks, I believe. While AMD has not yet shared any performance claims, the company has stated that all pre-CES leaks were inaccurate and that the actual performance will be better. The card is rumored to offer performance on par with the RTX 4070 Ti in ray tracing and the, 40, and the RTX 4080 in rasterization. And here is a chart that the good people at Video Cards put together. As you can see, the red bars here are from the, the leak, okay, the rumored benchmark scores, the leak, whatever you want to call it. Here we have 1080p, we have 2K, and we have 4K. Uh, this is kind of sad because this card gets released and it is um, supposed to compete with the new generation of NVIDIA cards. The RTX, sorry, yeah, the RTX. GeForce uh, 50 series, and this is going to be a pretty bad look for AMD, to be honest with you. You know, since this card is going to be, uh, it performs similar to the previous generation of NVIDIA cards, the RTX 40 series. So, honestly, but these are pretty good scores. But 4K 26 FPS, that, that's not even play. Is that even playable? To be honest with you, that's not even like, is that even good? Uh, 2K to where it's at, of course. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for the new generation of uh, Radeon RX uh, video cards based on the RDNA 4 architecture. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Are you guys disappointed? Uh, of course, it all depends on the price. So we'll have to wait and see for the official announcement from AMD. On the price, of course, on the performance as well, they're gonna have their own performance claims with their own charts and uh, things like that. So, thank you guys for listening, thank you guys for watching. Take care, everyone. Peace. Oh, yeah, 
these are some video cards from uh, XFX, Sapphire, and Acer of the Radeon 9070 uh, series. All right, this is from CES. A pretty good looking card, to be honest with you. So, yeah, this is the Sapphire Pure triple fan design. This is from XFX. I always like XFX video cards, they kind of look good. Um, they all kind of look similar, right? The Pure and the Swift. And this one is from also XFX. This is the Merc. The 9070 Merc. This is the Acer Nitro. So we have the Pure, Swift, the Merc, and the Nitro. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Peace.